my boy. What's down with it? What's happening, my boy? Shit, cool. Hey. What the is up? I appreciate that, man. You know, it's it's hard to find somebody that's gonna be a real man about it. You could have kept yelling, yeah, could have like kept all the woofing, but you like, didn't. Like I said, bro. You know, it is what it Ain't is. Ain't nobody trying to tear nobody down. You know. Yeah. Two black successful men. We supposed to be collabing, not arguing. I ain't gonna lie, when I came home and seen that, I mean, put yourself in my shoes. If you came home and seen that, and then you went to Instagram and seen me with a paintball in my hand, what you would've thought? I would've, you know, I would've thought you would've been like, you would've, you would've put something like, okay, this is a coincidence, come on, bro. It can't be no coincidence. But then they like, he posted that a year ago. I'm like, all right, I ain't know. You know, right. it just looked like you really, you just did that shit. I'm like, this shit can't even, this shit can't be possible. Right. At the end of the day, it don't, the pol after what the police told me, bro, it don't even really matter. Because I'm still rich, I'm still successful, I'm still going, I got to keep moving. I can't right. let something like that tear me down. Because that's what people want. Even if it wasn't you, I know it wasn't you. You said you in Houston, right? Yeah, man. You can still be a fan. Like you, a long time ago when I wrote you, what you tell me? You said, bro, the fans going to do what they're going to do. They're going to say anything. That's right. what you said, right? Right. And I was looking like the fans is like, oh, they beefing? Bet. I got funny Mike back. I'm a bad kid for life. That's how I took it. But that don't mean you had nothing to do with it, you know? So that's what I meant to say. I kept yeah. saying I'm going to say it again. It scared me a little bit because, you, you know, the police and my name in the wind. I'm like, man, what? The police came here for me. The police came here for me because I ain't want to have to blast somebody and then I have a track record saying that people fucking with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, that's know, what they said. They like, bro, you need it. They said you need to break and make a report because if you run outside with that pole and then you just start blasting, it's not going to look right, you know? But then the police told me, like, the police, like, you can't even run out there and start blasting because that just means that I wasn't scared for my life. You got to right. be scared. Your life to kill a nigga. I ain't even know that. I thought, look, you could just kill a nigga if he at your house. But you can't do that. So I learned the hard way. Not the hard way because I ain't kill nobody, you know, but I learned from the police. And the police, I showed him you. He said, I know Funny Mike, too. He said he know me and you. He said he ain't do that, bro. That wasn't him. That's what he said. So it's like, at the end of the day, my apologies, you know? But that's why I went on stage.